new details have been revealed for the Nintendo Switch online service that is launching in September. And it's actually starting to get me really, really excited and pumped up for this, even if I am going to have to pay for this and it's another subscription service. I was really worried at first, like another subscription service. I'm not even subscribed to all the subscription services. I want to subscriptionize to and like, I don't have this much money to just dish out once a year. But luckily, this one is pretty cheap. We already know it's only $20 a year. That's not too bad, at least when you look at some other services that exist in our world today and the internet. But anyhow, these, the, the, the new details they've revealed, which we're about to get into, pretty exciting stuff, like I just said. Really awesome, and it's really starting to make the $20 price point, price tag, really look worth it to me. So let's go ahead and check that out. Here's the little, little, um what's it called, news article thing that they put up on their website that kind of details everything new that was uh, put up all in one place. And this was very, very recent. As you can see, only 19 Facebook lights. I mean, nobody uses Facebook anymore, but still, only 19 people liked it so far. So um, it hasn't been out for very long. I just saw it. So basically, um, it just talks about how affordable, multi-feature paid service, blah, blah, blah. They're trying to, they're trying to sell it to you. But you can kind of see it's um, more information on Switch Online, pricing, save data, cloud backup. Nope, you're not reading that wrong. That's a thing. And additional details about NES uh, subscribers when it launches in September. So let's, we'll, we'll just start and go through all of these. U.S. pricing. Um, if you live somewhere else, obviously this is not the pricing you're actually going to get. But if you live in the U.S., this is which the prices are going to be. Um, various price points, individual memberships. Three ninety nine a month, seven ninety nine for three months, nineteen ninety nine for twelve months. So basically, that means buy twelve months because three times four is twelve, eight times four is twenty four. Yet yeah, no, that didn't work. One month, four times twelve. Yeah, don't even just get the twelve month membership if you even think you're going to use this thing for more than twelve months. And this is really interesting. Family membership. So if more than one of your uh, family members has a switch you can have a family membership and up to eight account it's nine holders thank you siri it's nine o'clock guys but anyhow up to eight nintendo account holders will be able to use the nintendo switch online service on different systems so that's useful i am literally the only one in my family that uses uh, a switch so i don't have to worry about that if you have one more than one person in your family and obviously if you only have two then it wouldn't really matter because Oh well, no, 20 plus 20 is 40. So yeah, this if, if you have two or more people in your family that are going to be using this, get the family membership. It's worth it. And then this is where it gets interesting. Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. Subscribers will have access to NES Nintendo Switch Online. That is a confusing and weird name, but it's a compilation of classic NES games. We kind of knew about this before, but this kind of gives us exactly what this is going to be. It'll initially include... 20 games with more to be added on a regular basis. Games Balloon Fight, Dr. Mario, Super Mario Bros. 3, Donkey Kong, Ice Climber, Legend of Zelda, Mario Bros. Soccer. Super Mario Bros. Tennis. 10 launch games will be announced in the future. A lot of people get excited about the virtual console type stuff on the Switch in terms of like nostalgia and wanting to play through those memories again. But for me, I never got to Play those games when they were new because obvious reasons so it's more of an excitement for me to go back and play through nintendo's history kind of so i think it's really really cool that they're offering all of these games with the online service i was expecting a virtual console like service where you have to buy them all individually but getting i'm gonna buy the online every anyway obviously because with this whole youtube thing i need to be able to get online for things like splatoon mario kart arms anything like that you know i gotta have the online service so just having all these retro games with it is really a bonus i think it's going to draw in a lot of people that might be initially like i don't know if i want to pay that much for uh just playing online because i don't play online that much but i can get all these retro games with it and i want to play those and have my nostalgia or play through them for the first time just for the heck of it so i want to do that and just talking about nes games at first but i'm really hoping in the future and this may be kind of a long shot but after they add a lot of NES games, obviously they plan to keep adding more. Because they said just a launch launch titles, there's going to be more titles they continuing to add to the collection. 
but I think after they add a lot of NES games, start adding SNES games, and then maybe N64 games. I don't know. Maybe I'm going a little too far with the N64. But I think keep adding a virtual console type games for different consoles onto the online, and then it'll just keep making it better and better. So maybe I'm hoping a little bit too much, but I'm really hoping we eventually, I'm eventually able to play Super Mario 64 on my Switch with a Switch Online service. That would be really, really cool. Players will be able to joy, enjoy these classic NES games online. Oh yeah. See, this is why I love Nintendo so much. These completely crazy ideas that no other company would ever attempt to do except Nintendo. NES games online. We're going to play the original Mario Kart, like Pixel Mario Kart online. We're going to play Mario Bros, like first ever Mario Bros, like not even Super Mario Bros. We're talking like uh, Mario and Luigi, uh, you can die by jumping on top of an enemy. You remember that game? The Mario game where you couldn't kill an enemy by stomping it? You had to go like below it and like hit it up and then, yeah, you're going to be able to play that online. How crazy is that? Like, Geez, I really hope a lot of companies follow in the footsteps. It'd be really cool to see, although most retro games are Nintendo. But it'd be cool to see some like Atari games and Sega games and stuff like that being released in versions that you can play them online. Like, I really think of this as successful. Some people are going to follow in Nintendo's footsteps there, which I think would be really, really cool because it's a really cool idea. I'm just concerned a little bit about the practicality of it. You know how Nintendo is with online stuff. They always make it overcomplicated. And I'm not sure how you can make an NES game overcomplicated, but I'm sure they find some way to do it. So we'll just see how that actually turns out. All right, I'm getting a little bit more detailed here on exactly how that works. Um, depending on the game, players can engage in online competitive or co-op multiplayer or take turns controlling the action. So that's obviously, it's basically the local multiplayer already available in those, those games, but you can do it online with your friends. Friends can even watch each other play single-player games online and pass the controller at any time. That is pretty, pretty cool. I really hope, or I, I, I hope, this probably won't ever happen, but that kind of style, being able to watch each other play single-player games, what if you could do that with regular games? Like, what if I could see my friend playing, like, Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey online, just watching them? Uh, that's a cool concept. I'm not sure if it will happen. But uh, it's going to happen for NES games, so that's a thing. And every classic NES game will support voice chat via the Nintendo Switch online smartphone app. Oh, that's interesting. See, I was literally just thinking yesterday while playing some Salmon Run with a friend that this isn't really a Switch Online app. This is a Splatoon 2 companion app with the Switch logo stuck at the top. That's that's like all it is. So I'm really kind of excited to hear that um, uh, some other games are going to be supporting the online app, even if it is just NES games. It says all NES games are going to be able to support online. So think about this. All NES games, NES games are going to have support for the online app and voice chat but I can't use the online app or voice chat with Mario Kart, ARMS, anything like that. Like, why? <laughs> is, uh, I really hope they, they didn't mention anything in this little news press release thing about the online app compatibility with other games like ARMS or Mario Kart 8. But I really hope they are working on that because it's, it's re I, I'm a fan of the online app. Like, I don't mind having to use my phone for voice chat. I really don't. I know it bugs a lot of people. It doesn't really bug me. So I really wish I could voice chat with more than just Splatoon, all right? I want to voice chat with Mario Kart. I want to voice chat with ARMS. I don't want to just voice chat with Splatoon. And I guess now I can voice chat with NES games, but they need to bring it to the other games. Come on, Nintendo. Move along here by using Nintendo Switch Online, a backup of Nintendo Switch save data for most Nintendo Switch games will be stored online for easy access. This is great for people who want to retrieve their data if they lose it, break or purchase an additional Nintendo Switch system. It seems like more and more now Nintendo is listening to their fans and what we want. You know what I mean? People have been begging, we need cloud saves for the Switch because every bit of save data for your game 
it's stuck on here on this hard drive. You can't even transfer it to an SD card. If you transfer it to another system, then it gets deleted off the first system. It's just stuck. If you break this thing, bye bye save data. Even if you have like 300 hours accumulated on Breath of the Wild or 700 on Splatoon, that's all gone as soon as you break this thing. So, sucks to be you. But with cloud saves, we can back it all up. And then if you break your Switch, I just drop this on the ground right now and it breaks. Well, guess what? It's all there. So if I get a new one, then I can load it all off the cloud onto the new one and it's all safe. And the way it sounded in the, the article there, um, the way it was worded, sounded like it does it automatically. It didn't sound like you have to manually go click um, load onto cloud, which is funny because that's like, sounds like a really Nintendo thing to do is to force you to go figure out how to do it yourself through some complicated process, but it sounds like it's going to be automatic, which is good. What's not good is that it says most Nintendo Switch games. Until I get a full list of all the compatible games, I'm scared that like something I want to back up data for is not going to be there. You know what I mean? This is the way they said, available for most Nintendo Switch games, like, all right, which ones, please? <laughs> I don't know, can I back up my indie games or whatever? I don't really have many indie games, or really any at all. But just, I want to know, I want a detailed list of which games are going to support this or not. But uh, we'll probably get that a little bit closer to launch, or we'll obviously have that at launch, because we can look and see ourselves. But yeah, this does this is a pretty good peace of mind for me, because this is actually something I've been starting to concern over lately, is I take good care of my Switch. But that, it, if... It somehow some fluke accident happened and it broke and I lost everything on it that wouldn't be very good so at least starting in September with the online service we can back up to the cloud and it's all gonna be safe and honestly this is something I didn't expect I started reading this article I was like cloud saves really really it's it, it was quite surprising to me to see that but I'm still really happy about it it's kind of like a dream come true for me, and I know it will be for a lot of people. So, uh, yeah, that's like probably the main thing to look at here. And finally, online play. Of course, you're going to need a Switch Online membership to participate in competitive online features for current and upcoming Nintendo Switch games like Splatoon 2, Micro Date Deluxe, Arms, Mario Tennis Aces, and Sushi Striker. Way of Sushido. I can't believe that's actually a game. But anyhow, and then the, the Switch Online app, smartphone application to enhance the online experience <laughs> for compatible games, aka Splatoon and a bunch of NES games. <sighs> yes, you can have access to that. Um, I hope since they put it here, they mean, oh yeah, we're going to add some more games, not like <laughs> Splatoon 2 companion app. It's Splatoon 2 and NES companion app. Um, anyhow, apparently you have to be 13 years or older. Persistent internet access and compatible smartphone required. And, of course, guys, data charges may apply. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. But there's a lot of exciting stuff here. A lot of stuff I <clears throat> wasn't expecting, especially those cloud saves. But much, much needed. And, again, this is all only $20 a year. Still probably... I wouldn't want to pay for it. Like, it doesn't seem like something that you should have to have a subscription for. But Xbox and PlayStation have been charging you money to use online for ages, and they both charge $60 a year. And so uh, Nintendo Switch only charging $20 a year. That is literally a third of what Xbox and PlayStation charge for you to play online. So it's still, um, for today's world, it's a pretty darn good deal for online service on a game console. Although you still can, you st you can still go online on a PC for free, but we're not going to get into that. Um, anyhow, you know, good stuff. Let me know down in the comments what surprised you most about this, or what you're most excited about for the Switch Online service. Um, whether or not you'll be buying it, anything like that, you want me to read and respond to, put it in the comments, and I will read it and I will respond to it, and be sure to. Subscribe and enable your notifications so you don't miss upload and especially my completely randomly spontaneous streams and bye